All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. Today I'm gonna to cover one of the top hacking gadgets that came out in the last five or so years. This hacking gadget that I'm gonna show you is one of the best little multi-tools that everyone can buy. And I'll throw some links in the comments to get the case, get a little Wi-Fi board for it, and I'll put a link to get the Flipper Zero. And if you buy the case and the Wi-Fi board from my Amazon link, that helps the channel out. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, tech, gadgets, and crypto. All right guys, so the little product we're talking about today is, and you've probably seen it and heard of it before, the Flipper Zero. This device here is a multi-tool for hacking RFID, sub gigahertz frequency, and Wi-Fi. And here's some of its features. The Flipper Zero can read and clone RFID cards. These are cards like the hotel keys. It can read those and it can also clone them as well. So with one other device, you can hook it up to the Flipper Zero and clone RFID cards. The Flipper Zero also has built-in infrared capabilities, which means it can mimic any infrared remote that exists. You can basically use it to search out multiple different types of infrared signals and copy them as well. It can also duplicate and operate as a 433 gigahertz device, like the key fobs and things like that. So it can mimic key fobs like car key openers, and it can also jam those signals as well. There's a few videos on the internet right now of people using the Flipper Zero to open and close car doors, and they are legit. There are a lot of videos on the internet about what the Flipper can do that aren't really true, but it can definitely do that. One of the coolest things about the Flipper Zero is that it can hack Wi-Fi. With a little Wi-Fi board like an ESP, you can use it to pick up Wi-Fi signals from a wide range of distances, and it can also perform de-auth attacks on Wi-Fi. Now this is something you never wanna to do to a Wi-Fi signal that you haven't been approved to do because it is actually illegal and you will go to jail for that, so do not do that. But it has the capabilities to do something like that. The Flipper Zero can also mimic USB keyboards and mice, so it can be used as a USB rubber ducky, and it could also be used as a bad USB device to spam something, spam keyboard strokes, spam mouse strokes, you plug it in, it has a couple programs already, but you can add more to it. In fact, this is very versatile. There are a lot of different firmware options for this, and you can download different firmware options to do different things with this, but it can definitely act as a USB rubber ducky and a bad USB device. A lot of people think that it has a limited ability to change traffic lights and things like that too. I've never seen that work in real time, in real life, but like I said, there's a lot of videos on the internet out there, so you can definitely find a video that shows this kind of content. It is also not legal, so I do not recommend doing this in public. You will get in a lot of trouble for doing something like this. The Flipper Zero, through its RFID capabilities, can also scan your dog's RFID chip, and it will give you the information as well. And you can actually save that too, just in case you need to save that somewhere, because we don't really have a lot of devices around us now that can save our dog's RFID information, just in case we need it in the future. The Flipper Zero can also capture and duplicate RFID signals that come from garage door openers. So you could use the Flipper Zero to mimic a garage door opener. If you've lost yours, it's a good idea to have that. Don't go around trying to open people's garage doors. I think that's considered breaking and entering, and that is also against the law, so don't do that, guys. And the big question, is the Flipper Zero legal? Yes, the Flipper Zero is legal. You can buy it on a website. They will ship it right to you in the United States. There's no problem with owning this device. Just don't use it for nefarious purposes. Only hack things that you have permission to hack. Otherwise, it is against the law and you will go to jail. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Don't forget there's some links in the comment below on how to get a couple accessories for the Flipper Zero and the Flipper Zero, and I'll catch you later. Peace.